What's going on guys? My name is Josh and today's video I'm going to show you how to get the brand new wonder weapon on the new map Forsaken and Cold War Zombies. So first off you're going to spawn in the starting area and it works like Moon. The first starting area where the rounds will progress the zombies will get harder except this time the rounds actually do progress. So you spawn here, a timer will be beeping and the rounds will progress basically. Um, so if you stay here for 10 rounds when you go to the main area it will be round 10 so keep that in mind. So if it's round 10 and you get there, it's going to be harder to get the map. So I recommend using something like the sh a shotgun like the Howard. It'll kill the zombies really well. I would stay here until you have about 10 to 15,000 points. So anywhere between round 7 and 10. This way you're pretty set up. When you get to the main map, you can go ahead and start opening up everything. One thing to note is when you go to start opening the portal, you have a 30 second timer that you have to survive before you can go. So just be prepared for that. When you do go to leave, it will give you that 30 second wait before you get there. And once you're there in the main area, whatever round you're on, go ahead and kill all the zombies but one. That way you can go through the map without having any issues getting killed by other zombies, having anything chasing you. And then the first thing you also, when you get through, you're going to have Juggernaut right on your left. Go ahead and pick that up. You're going to have plenty of points. That way you don't have to worry about going down. And once you get that, just make it through the rest of the round. Then go ahead and go up through the main door up in front of you. Once you go through there, I recommend going to the left and go ahead and picking up Stamina Up because that's right there. It does make you faster, help you get through the map pretty quickly because this is a pretty big map. Now, once you go through the teleporter get to the next area, you're going to be in this area that has Burger Town and a few other places. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way you go, you're going to have to get through all of them eventually. So I would just go ahead and go straight to the middle and run to the teleporter. Now, once you get to the teleporter, it's going to be broken. It's going to tell you you have to go find some parts. Uh, don't worry, it's not super hard to find them. It actually tells you when you run to the other specific areas, it will say, go search here. Everything's nice and highlighted, super, super easy to find. So the first part you're going to find is in Burger Town. The second part you're going to find is in TV Store. The third part is in the cinema. And the fourth and final part is in the arcade. Now, once you have all the parts, you can just go back to the teleporter and build it. You have to hold it to build it. Um, it's a little finicky, so it might take you a second to get the right little spot for it to actually work. But once it does, go to the portal. It'll take you into this amplifier room, this long, tall hallway here. Let's go to the very end of it. When you get to the very end, you will have an abomination spawn. This thing is pretty strong, especially because you're already probably on round nine or 10 in that range, and you still have a very basic gun. So just keep that in mind. So have a ring of fire ready for this, because um, you want to pop it to kill this guy. This guy is strong. Make sure you also have a jug at this point too. And then once you kill him, you can go through the portal, and that room will take you to the power room. You press a button, turns power on. You'll have Pack-a-Punch in there, and you will also have the quest system or the trial system. Now this works just like the trial system on any other map. Just go ahead and hit the start trial to start it and complete your challenges and get it all the way up to the legendary reward. Once you get it to the legendary reward, you will have a chance of getting the brand new wonder weapon. Um, you normally get it pretty quick. In my game, I got it the very first time I did it. Um, it may take you sometimes more than one. It could take two. And if you're really unlucky, it could take up to five, um, which would suck. If that does happen, I'm sorry. Like That's just really unfortunate. But you normally should get it within the first one to two tries. And with you already being on round 10 when you have the ones that are kill zombies, you get to kill a lot of zombies so you can progress through the trials very, up to legendary tier very, very quickly. And once you do that, you go back up to the reward stand and get your legendary thing. You have a good chance of getting it. And this wonder weapon is absolutely crazy. It's very, very good. It shoots uh, the one gun. So you have first you start with the knife. Uh, basically, you're swinging a giant axe in a nice radius which is insanely good and of course no ammo required for that just swinging around a giant axe um, and it does work very very well I went back to the main spawn area and put it on the berserker mode uh, and there are a ton of zombies at me and I was still swinging it perfectly fine whatsoever especially you have the melee upgrade because you're going to be healing with every time you, every time you knife a zombie and the other mode of the gun if you press B if you're on keyboard or I think it's down if you're on a controller it'll switch to a basically pistol uh, where you shoot a ton of ammo and ammo will drop on the ground as you're playing uh, and these forms of little crystals that you can pick up uh, this gun's also very very good I only played to round 20 but on round 20 with a single pack a punch it was still killing the zombies very very easily um, and like I said once you run out of ammo if you do run out of ammo you can just switch back to the axe and use that to kill zombies as well so this thing is very very good but there you have it. That is how you get the brand new Wonder Woman on the map Forsaken. Like I said, this thing is very good. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave you guys with a little bit of gameplay here of me using the Wonder Weapon uh, into, some of the, into round 20. 
Like I said, this thing absolutely shreds. And it was only a single pack-a-punch here. So once you get triple pack-a-punch, I mean, it will be absolutely shredding the zombies.